Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. So today we are going to learn or dive in on grammar. Okay, grammar focus. Okay, kita hari ini akan uh, berfokuskan grammar. Okay, and on your Supermind book, it will be on page 61. Okay, on page 61. And this is the kind of conversation that we always use. Ini adalah ayat ataupun perbualan yang selalu kita pakai seharian dalam hidup kita. And for example, let's go to number two first, grammar focus, listen and say. You have to listen, kena dengar, and you have to say, kamu kena sebut. So there's one question, soalan yang selalu kita dengar. But maybe in BM, how about in English? The question is, do you watch TV at the weekend? Mm, this is kind of one of the questions that you will always listen. Do you watch, adakah anda menonton TV, okay, television, at the weekend? Weekend, masih ingat? Weekend. Weekend is is one. Kalau kamu ada tengok video sebelum ni, cikgu ada explain. Weekend is the there are two days at the weekend. End adalah hujung hujung. Okay, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, there are two days of weekend. Ada dua hari tu. Kalau weekend hari Sabtu dan hari Ahad. So macam mana kamu mau jawab? How do you answer this kind of question? Do you watch TV at the weekend? If you watch, you would say kalau kamu menonton TV pada hujung minggu, kamu akan jawab ini. Yes, comma I do. Okay? Sekali lagi, one more time. If you say yes, jangan jawab yes saja. Do you watch TV at The weekend, yes. Terlampau pendek jawapan kamu. We have to spice up our language. Kita mesti kasih cantik-cantik uh, sedikit kita punya bahasa. So, how do we make it more beautiful? Yes, koma, I do. Ya, saya menonton TV pada hujung minggu. Maksudnya, yes, I do. And If you notice, this one, they are the same, sama. Do di sini, di belakang pun mesti do. Okay? But how about if your answer is no? Takkan kamu jawab no. Itu saja. Only that. Don't worry. In English, we can add up this one. No, comma, I don't. Okay? Maksud dia... Saya tidak. Maksudnya, no, tidak. I don't. Saya tidak tengok TV pada hujung minggu. Mungkin, maybe you go for fishing or play football or some other activities, then watch TV. Okay? Kamu ada, maksudnya, kamu buat activity lain. Bukannya menonton TV. That's why you say, no, no, no. I don't. Okay? And if we see over here, There are more examples. Do you watch TV at the weekend? Yes, I do. Tengok. Dia menonton television. If she say no, no, comma, I don't. Because she reads book. Okay? Dia buat activity yang lain. Uh, another question, soalan yang lain. Do you play computer games? At the weekend, adakah anda bermain computer game pada hujung minggu, hari 6, hari 7, Sabtu dan Ahad, okay? Saturday and Sunday. If yes, uh, macam mana mau jawab? Yes, comma, I do. Okay? Comma ini adalah untuk kamu berhenti sekejap. Okay? Oops. Yes. Stop, sejap. I do. And then don't forget, full stop. 
How about if you don't play computer games? You can say no, comma, I don't. Full stop. Because I play football. Ah, dia tidak main computer games. Dia pergi main bola. Okay, it's a simple mm, grammar focus for today. It's just about questioning and answering in the correct way. Hari ini cuma berfokuskan grammar bagaimana kita ingin bertanya dan juga bagaimana kita menjawab soalan ini. Do you mm, 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 like this? Do you mm, 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 at the weekend? So, yes, comma, I do. Full stop. So, as your activities, you need to have your module. This one, congratulations. I have checked some of your works. Superb, beautiful handwriting. I like that. Okay. So, today, we have to go to page 2. Muka surat 2 on our module. And write down the date for today. 20. 6 of January 2021 Okay, before we do any activities, remember please read the instruction. Mesti baca arahan. Okay, so this is set 2, read and write. You have to read, kena baca. And write, kena tulis. So, over here. Uh, this question has two answers. Ada dua jawapan. The first one is, yang pertama, yes, I do. Okay, yes. The second one is, uh, kamu nampak ni X, no, I don't. And, letak full stop. Cikgu, cikgu lupa letak. Sorry. So, over here, down here, there are how many pictures over here? One, two. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 pictures with their own uh, sentence. Okay, ada ayat tersendiri. But, tetapi, you have to answer correctly. You have to look the picture carefully. Macam ini, dia sedang bermain basikal. She uh, cycles the bike. But, the sentence, ayat dia di sini, berlainan. So, let's read first. Baca dulu. Do you play football? Hmm. Kamu tengok balik gambar di sini. Is she playing football? Yes or no? So, when we look at this picture, she is not playing football. She cycles bike. Okay, so the the correct answer will be this one. No, I don't. Okay, mula-mula tulis suruh besar, capital letter. N, O, comma, I, huruf besar. I sentiasa huruf besar, okay? Always in capital letter. I don't. D, O, N, apostrophe, T and full stop. Okay? So, do you play football? No, I don't. I cycle the bike. Okay? That's the example of the answer with no. Contoh untuk yang bukan. Saya tidak bermain uh, bola sepak for this one. Okay? Okay, over here, let's have a look first. This boy is running, exercising, sedang bersenam. Do you go jogging? Jogging tau, okay? Kamu jog. So, when we look at this picture, yes, he is. So, how do you answer this? Do you go jogging? Of course, the answer is... Yes, comma, I do. 
full stop sebab dalam gambar sini dia memang berjogging okay so let's write that down example for yes contoh Y huruf besar E S and then put comma means you have to stop first just for a while berhenti sebentar saja yes I do full stop simple sangat senang so there are six more questions ada enam lagi soalan yang kamu kena siapkan you have to finish the rest of the questions starting from here here three four five and six more questions you have to do by your own and after you have done take a picture of it and send it to the whatsapp group okay and i hope you have this module okay if you don't have you have to go back to school ask your parents your mom or your dad to take the module in front of the school hall boleh ambil module ini di hadapan dewan sekolah Cikgu sudah sediakan. Pergi ambil saja. Dan tulis nama kamu. Okay? So, that's all for today's lesson. I hope you can do this and finish this work. Simple work. And I will see you on the next lesson. Okay? Goodbye.